Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you're having a wonderful worship weekend. This is just our little devotion meditation out of Psalms for uh, January 8th, 2023. And it's uh, Psalm 119, beginning at verse 9 through 16. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? For taking heed, just a minute, got to move my words closer to my eyes. <clears throat> Let's start again. Uh, verse 9, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So how important is that word? It can cleanse us. There's a washing of the word. Verse 10, with my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. And really, the scripture I was thinking about to do this little devotion was from verse 11. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. And, uh, you know, as we read the word of God, you know, there's some things I didn't even know were wrong. You know, the, most of the moral things we do know, we, even before... Uh, we come to the Lord, we do know most things that are wrong. But, you know, there were some things I did, like reading astrology and uh, visiting a fortune teller. Everybody just made some of those things sound like fun, like a little joke. And, uh, you know, after I came to the Lord and began to read the Word, I understood, oh, I've really, you know, kind of been dabbling in some things the Lord really doesn't want us dabbling in. And, you know, there's just so many things to snare you. Satan wants to fascinate you with things. He wants to do everything he can for you not to know this word, not to delight in it, not to want to obey it. He wants you to have your own way. You go your way, you do your thing. Isn't that lots more fun than having to obey the Lord and do his will? That's what Satan will tell you. And, uh, we know, though, as we begin to serve the Lord, that is our true happiness, that place that's been empty in our heart all along when the Lord comes in and we really get in His Word. I fell in love with the Word when I came back to the Lord when I was 29 years old. And uh, He opened, because I was ready, I guess, He really opened the Word up to me. And... Um, I wish I had more of it memorized. I just don't. But, you know, it is a good thing right now in particular to commit as much word to your heart as you can. What if something happened where you could not get hold of a Bible? You couldn't open your phone and Google a scripture. Uh, you suddenly were hungry for the Lord and you couldn't find the word anywhere. You know, it's a good thing to... Uh, have some word in your heart. I've heard of prisoners of war that would uh, tap out in Morse code. They weren't allowed to speak to each other, so they would tap out in Morse code part of a scripture when they couldn't remember all of it, and then maybe someone else would tap a little bit back to them. And they, that was their comfort. That was their comfort. This word is truth, and it is a comfort, and it is our salvation. So we want to hold on to it. I know I'd read a book years ago. I think it was um, Fahrenheit, some number. can't remember the number on it. Ray Bradbury. And uh, it was kind of the thing about they, they were taking all the books away. They didn't want anybody to have books. It was illegal. Not just the Bible, but books. All books. And uh, it was so... Um, foretelling of our time though the women were just sitting in front of a like a tv box and they were just uh, 
kind of out there, rubbing on their uh, lotions on themselves. It was just all vanity. There was no substance to anybody. They were just uh, becoming silly. And, and look at our world today, what insanity there is in the world that people cannot even think to hold to truth. That uh, they have been so given over by what someone else tells them and they don't love the word of God so God sends them a delusion so people will just go along with anything but we don't want to just go along with anything we are those that have decided to serve the Lord and delight in his precepts and statutes and do them well I hope you will hide the word of the Lord in you if you're a new convert, uh, memorizing the Lord's Prayer is a good first thing to memorize. Memorizing Psalm 23 is a good second thing. And for these days we are in, memorizing Psalm 91 is a good comfort for us. Well, I love you. That is our little devotion meditation for today. Acts 2.38, if you need to give your heart to the Lord, it tells you to repent to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be blessed.